today, Australia's building crisis, and a quick reminder. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to our latest post covering finance and problem news with a distinctively Australian flavour. So firstly, I just want to remind you that tomorrow evening at 8pm Sydney time, we'll be running our live stream event. Now this is our monthly opportunity to discuss live some of the issues that we've been looking at, and you can participate via the online chat, or send me questions ahead of time by using the DFA blog. The links are in the comments below. This will be a particularly important event because we have made some changes to our scenarios based on what's happened over the last month with the rate cuts and with the forward expectations of much lower rates ahead and a whole bunch of other factors that are now in play. So we'll discuss the scenarios and also look at some of the broader contextual issues that we're facing. So mark your diary and we'll see you on tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. But meantime, I wanted just to touch further on the question of the quality of construction in Australia. Now, in fact, John Adams, Edwin Almeida and I made a long show, which we put up this morning on the In the Interests of the People channel. And in that show, we discussed in detail the major issues relating to the quality of construction in Australia. Of course, the Mascot Tower is the latest, Opal Tower previously, and we know of a number of others around the country that are also showing signs of poor quality construction. The issue underlying it all is, of course, poor certification, the outsourcing and the privatisation of the certification processes, and the conflicts of interest that relate to how buildings are actually designed, built, constructed, and certified. And the bottom line is this, it looks to me as though owners of these properties are going to be left holding the baby. And in fact, there was a news article tonight which made the point that valuations on these properties are already falling. So what I wanted to do was just to play a brief sequence from our longer show. And if you want to hear the whole thing, then just go across to the Interests of the People channel, link below and also here and listen to the whole show. It's about half an hour and well worth it in my view. And it's also worth just remembering that Edwin Almedia and I discussed the issues around poor construction last year before Opal Tower. And indeed, a few years ago, Edwin actually visited the building next door to the one at Mascot that is now in trouble. And his filming at that time showed the sorts of cracks and other defects that are now coming home to roost. So this is not a new issue, but it's important now that we take this much more seriously. So we've got this emergency filming today based on the fact that on Friday night, yet another high rise building in Sydney was evacuated. And the reason it was evacuated, because cracks were appearing once again. And of course, it isn't the first time, Opal Tower beforehand. and. Uh, Edwin, you've been talking about this for some time, and unfortunately now the chickens are definitely coming home to roost. So this is a conversation about that, but also about the context. In other words, how we got to where we've got to, and what needs to change going forward. What about all the stuff that, that's been built in the last, in the last 15 years? Right. Things, things, private certification. Uh, I think for me, that's that's where it, it all started to fall to pieces. It all started to uh, go pear shaped, and that's when the doors opened up for corruption at all levels to just right. you know, take over. And that coincided with the mass building boom that we had, right? With the mass rise in property prices, and you know, developers making money hand over fist as well. So there was, uh, the but it, but it was it was somewhat controlled back then, right? Uh, because we we only got the um, yeah, four, five, six level uh, apartment blocks. Yep. So, and, and if we, we if we, that kept to that, it it wouldn't have been as bad. But then all of a sudden from that we went to you know twenty one, thirty, forty, fifty levels, hmm. and, and not only uh, digging five meters, you know, uh, yeah, you know, one and a half basements or two basements, we went down to digging five basements, six basements, 
basements, even along Parramatta River. Insane stuff. Yep. And of course, you showed some video right a few years ago of cracks in and around the mascot area. That, right? it, that's well, right. We, we might actually just play a bit of that because it's worth just saying this is not a new issue, right? Those <laughs> cracks were there some time ago. And, and, and that is why I, wrote, uh, I, I raised that problem because the building where you see Jennifer Duke and myself there talking about that building, that's actually the building next door to, to um, Mascot Towers. Yeah. It, is, it, it is absolutely pandemic. It, it is something that is beyond, beyond anybody's control. And again, I say, don't, let's not just focus on the high rise. Go further afield. Anything that's being built new with imported materials, you are going to have major issues. We we have got a we have got a serious problem on our hands. So so I guess there's a couple of implications. One is that the price of properties, these newer properties, are going to come down, aren't they? Definitely. Because, because people will now assume that there are going to be more issues. And we know that there are a lot of people in Opal Tower who tried to sell at half the price that they actually Or they got it. offered half the price, yeah, yeah. Uh, which, was, which, was a, which was higher than what I pegged it at. Yeah. This has to be fixed. But it has yeah. to be fixed systemically and structurally. You can't just fix the old little pieces around the edge here. This is much more serious than that, right? Which is why your point earlier on, John, about... Maybe a Royal Commission is a way to go. But of course, a Royal Commission is going to take a long, long time. And in the meantime, we have people in danger. So there you have it. Just a brief extract from our live show. And I look forward to seeing you on the live stream event tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Sydney time. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. <laughs>